everybody's golf on PS4. Imperial Garden is the open course today. And we're going to play the Outward 9. I haven't checked on the, um, the tees and the wind. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Let's make our way over to the first tee. And, um, and see what the game's got in, got in store for us. So 16 under is the, the best score. It's a normal wind. Normal tees. Uh, I might just change my ball. A grass cut is always, always a good call on here because, you know, despite my best efforts to play fairways and, and greens, uh, if you've watched any of my streams, you'll know exactly why I've got something to play out of the rough. I know, I've got my custom clubs that are rather long, so I'm going to try and... Oh, just about cut some corners there. Just stay on, just stay on. There you go. That leaves me 110. That's a pitch on. So we've got a little bit of wind. Which will bring it back. The lie's nice and flat. Slightly uphill, but it's into the wind. So we need a little bit more... A little bit more club. <coughs> that looks alright. Oh, that's not far away. Not far away at all. Gives us a four-footer. Four foot for a birdie on the first is always a... Always a nice way to start. Nice, buddy. So that's a decent start. Second hole, and again, this this is a bit of a course management question. Previously, I used to drive over here, um, which would give me an approach in. Now I can kind of get up there, which I might just go for. I've never really been able to get past that choke point previously. Need a good shot, and the wind doesn't help me. With a bit of luck, I can just land there. Oh, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, that'd have been another two foot, and that'd have run on. Never mind. But sixty yards, so we're in approach range. It's gonna kick left, so we need to aim a bit right, and we're into the wind. I'm turning the approach off actually, because I'm gonna need a bit more with that wind. Because I lose a bit from the ground. Yeah, even then I was short. Roll with it. Go for the it's a 15 foot. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But no harm, no foul. I don't know if you knew you can do that. You can, um, as long as you don't take the second click, the first click doesn't doesn't penalise you. Okay. So I'm going to say about a cup left. And reasonably firm. I'm a bit of luck, it'll just come back. There you go. <laughs> so we missed the fairway, but we still made our birdie, which is good. <clears throat> uh, okay, now this has got a bit of a dog leg to the right. And previously, I've been kind of holding up to sort of play this line here, but I can now go round here. Um, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to bend it enough. Do you know what? We're going to have a crack. We're going to have a crack. We're going to have a crack. I'm going to regret this. But hey, you got to learn if it's doable. <coughs> Suzuki likes it. Am I going to just get up there? Yeah, just about. Oh, that's quite nice. That was worth the gamble. So it leaves me 100 yards away. A little bit of a hanging lie. It's going to kick right, but the wind will bring it back. And again, there's a little bit wind into our face, but nothing, nothing to worry about. Nothing that makes me want to club up. I'm just trying to knock it past and, and see what that does. Oh my days! Oh, I, uh, yeah, okay. You saw that. I saw that. We all know that should be in the hole. We all know that's an eagle. The game won't acknowledge that's an eagle, but we all know that's an eagle. So that's a good start. Three birdies on the three par fours. It's a par three. I do not like this hole. There's so much to get wrong here. Okay, so it's at the back. There's a bit of wind. And I want to stop it. And again, this is this is all about control of your iron shots. I want to get it on. That's it, and I want to stop it. 
And there we go. Wow. And even then it just kept going. Wow. I mean, I must have pitched that a third of the way on. That hole is not my favourite for precisely that reason. And I fluff that. What's the birdie gone? A tricky putt for a par, so maybe half a cup. Half a cup outside. Should just come back. That's okay. So a shot dropped there, and actually it was it was that initial shot. Because it rolled onto the fringe. That's why I don't like the fourth hole. Okay, another hole where length is is handy. Oh, do we go for that? Do we go for it? Well, otherwise, we've got to kind of go back to here. I'm not sure that's a better shot. At least if we play up here and we're on, we're on. Oh, okay, right. Let's try and stop it, though. So put a bit of backspin on it. And let's just see if we can land on the fairway. It'll grip. Oh, it's on the green. Look at that. That'll do the job. Got it within 13 foot. And get a putt for the eagle. Okay. Tricky putt. Probably a cup and a half. Maybe two cups left. Because I can't hit this hard. Because of the the break. I've got to let it break. Ah, oh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. But see how far past it ran. Just runs so far past. But we should get our birdie there. Yeah. And that's our extra bonus hole. So that's definitely eagle eagleable five there. So another par five. Traditionally, when I haven't had the length, I've used that water skip there. So we've kind of pitched there and skipped on. To be honest, I shouldn't need that now. Not with the length I've got. Bit of a headwind. We should get on the dry stuff. Get a good bounce. Yeah, that's nice. And then up the roller. It's okay. You see how much further people are driving it, though. So, leaves me 180. Bit of a headwind, so we might need a bit more club. And it's going to come back. But we've got a fair bit of green to work with. And again, it's about getting it up and getting it on. Oh, don't fade into that bunker. Oh, that was close. Wind had more effect than I thought it would. Didn't really read that line well. So, this is a tricky part. Oh, I mean, I, 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 it just needs a lot of a lot of break. And it'll need a good thwacking. And this will break, but I just don't know how hard. Not even enough legs. Wow. Wow. That's the problem with those putts. They're, they're a bit blind and you've just got to hit them. And you always under hit them, in my experience. <laughs> We've got the birdie. That's the important part. So, 4-3-5 to finish. <laughs> Again, this is another one where length kind of makes a massive difference. In that you can kind of drive to a much deeper part of that fa fairway there. There's a real danger of running out, but hopefully the, the natural slope will keep it on the straight now if I avoid the water. Double water skip. Okay. Interesting. That's all right. So, hanging light and a tailwind. So, it's going to kick left. And I really want to stop this. I really want to stop it, but I don't want to end up in that bunker. <laughs> yeah, it's the safe thing to do, just play left of the bunker, really. Just take it out of play. Pace was all right in the end. Pace was all right in the end. So that's not a bad putt. So half, half a cup left and just a little bit soft. And with a bit like that, I'll just break at the end and drop. There you go. <laughs> it's not going really to be the greatest round ever, but eight unders achievable. Is a par three. So another par three. Good pin position into the headwind. <clears throat> Again, this is all about stopping it. You know, you're playing the three iron on here, so it's a hefty old club. Bravo. The wind will take something out of it, but there's so much green in front. You know, you don't have to really worry. That's not bad. That's not bad. 
from 200 odd yards. Get it within 14 foot. That's all right. It's a tricky putt, breaking quite a bit to the left. And again, it's another one you've, you've got to hit firm. So let's try that. Is that firm enough? Drop, 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 drop. Ah, again, see? Just relax. I'm thinking I've actually played it too firm and I've it's come up short. I need to learn to read those better, I think. Yeah. It's a seven under, looks like the, the goal here. I mean, an, e an eagle on here. It's a par five. It's tough. I've really... that The second shot to here is is an incredibly difficult shot. As you'll see in a second. Let's get it round the corner. Ah, oh, missed it. Missed it. The guy hitting the club just put me off a fraction. Where's that going to go? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. So 150. I'm in the rough. As you can see, that is a difficult shot. You haven't got much to work with. Hmm. Let's try and play to the back. Oh, spot on. No power shots left. How's that looking? Ah, oh, just died on me. Just died on me. So it looks like we'll be lucky to get six under here. Let's get a good approach. Oh, not going to drop for me, is it? Not going to drop for me. I'll just have to take my power on my six under. Again, don't underestimate this Looks putt. Like it is just slightly outside the left edge. Firmish putt. And it'll just break back. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was, that, that was a tough finish. You know, if you look, I had three tap-ins there. You know, sixth of a foot, ninth of a foot, you know. Ugh, yeah. Shot you miss. But I suppose if you were making those shots, you'd be 19 under or whatever it is. And I'm not making those shots, so I'm not 19 under. Anyway, so 16 under is the best score. Six under puts me second provisionally. I mean, nine under, I think for me, would be a good score. But there you go. What do we win? Look what you could have won. So I've leveled my best score. Yeah, slightly more points. Yeah, what do I get? Lost a grass cutter. I don't get anything. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.